On this video, I am uh, painting a toy box. And as you can see, this is a rather different technique of painting. It is painting with wood pieces such as this. You use that as your paintbrush. And I have one more side to do, and I'm going to do that side while you watch and see if this is something you might be interested in taking on. Okay, so we've got the first strips dried, and we're going to come over the top, see how this piece is. It had the turquoise like this, and then we went over it with the red. That's what we're going to do up here. We're going to go over this green with the color that's next to it, the red, so that if it blends, we can get in there and we don't have to worry about it mixing. And then over the red will be this blue. Over the blue will be this gold. And that's just the way I do it. So let me start with the red. You see, I'm gonna go over this red or over this green with the red. And I'm not gonna worry about it now blending in. I can go over all the way almost to the edge of it. And I just wanted to do a double dip on this because I didn't put very much on it. Okay, now you can see that the next one I'm gonna do on top of the red is what the blue right this blue right here but if I come over this with this blue I want to make sure that I don't go over there or it will blend so what I like to do is skip one let it dry then come back and do that one so I'm going to do this blue which is going to get this gold so let's do the gold And I can go over as far as I want because I've got gold over there already and it's not going to muck it. And then the, I'm going to skip the next one. I'm going to go to the green and the green is going to get this yellow. So we're going to dip into the yellow. I use different sizes to give it a little variety. Make sure that I get this edge to get up here on the handle. It's just supposed to look like, you know, like aged like this. Kind of like a, I call it a a boat paint technique, like an old boat that's sat there and weathered. Okay, so we're gonna skip this one until this dries. We're gonna go to this gold one, which is gonna get this green. And you see the reason why I'm doing that is because you do not want to mix your colors while they're wet. You only want to go over them when they're dry. So I am doing this color and it really does not matter if I go over this way too far because I've already got that color there. So that's how I can cover up a little bit more there. If I have it on thick, I just go up and get the thick part. Okay, now we've got that one. Now we're gonna skip that one. We're gonna to go to the red and it's gonna get the blue. So we come over here and we get our blue. We dip our dipstick. And we paint. And now the end one is going to dry because it's going to get a different color and I don't want them to mix and become mucky. So you don't mix your wet colors together, but you can go over your dry colors with another color. And that's how you get that look. Otherwise, if I did them while they're wet, they'll just mix together and it'll come out black. 
So we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and do the, the ones in between after these are dry. Okay, so we're gonna do the fill-in lines that we didn't do because it has dried. And so this one here is gonna get some of this blue and these are all dry now so it won't runny get runny and yuckety yuck so i'm going to get the blue and do this one So we already did this one. Now we're going to do this one with the green. I really like this green. This is a junk monkey paint too. You just let let your uh, piece of board is going to just be your brush. Okay, and so we did this one. This one is going to get the gold. And then we did the next one, which is this one. So this one is going to get the red. Red, where are you? This one we already did, so this one over here is going to get the turquoise. This way, I like to do it this way because then you're not running into the other colors and getting that muckety mixed yucky color okay so that is it we are going to let this dry really good for a day and then we're going to come back and we're going to take our electric sander and go over the entire piece and then we're going to seal it good and put it up for sale And so the next step is going to be for me to take my sander and go over this. I've gone over everything except the top. This piece right here, which is the back. Uh, no, this is the top because it lifts up. So I'll show you how that works out here. This is what I do.
this does is it gives it that even more distressed look and there will be places where it is a little thick and it's just going to make it nice and smooth and all those thick places will go away. Okay, so now it's nice and sanded off. All the raised edges are sanded down. It's got that look where it is just faded a little, not quite so in your face bright. And the next thing we're gonna do is wipe this thing down with a dark wax and I'll come back and show you how we do that. Okay, so now is the waxing time. As you can see, I have waxed this in with a dark wax. And the next step I'm gonna do is wax it. So you can see half wax and half unwax just to see the difference. Okay, so this is the front. I'm gonna put wax on half of it and leave the other half without wax just to show you the difference as to what the wax does. It's usually just a pretty subtle, this is a dark wax though, so it'll be probably a little more than subtle. And here's what I do, I pour my wax, which I'm just using a Walmart brand, Waverly Antique water-based wax. Just pour it on. And you take your rag and you're going to rub it in. Rub it in just like you're washing the piece down. Now this not only gives it a little bit of depth, but it also gives it a sealer. So wax is a sealer. Wax keeps your furniture from getting scratched. Not that it matters on a piece like this because it is a shabby chic piece, but you still want to protect the wood. So here we go. Here we are with this half over here is waxed and this half over here is not waxed. So you see it, it's just a subtle, like giving it depth. And you could put as many coats of this on as you want. I choose to just do one on this piece. I don't want it to have too much depth. I want to be able to see some of the brightness. So it will tone it down somewhat. So I'll go ahead and finish the other half and show you what it looks like whole. Okay, so this piece is done. It is finished. It is ready to be sold. I will be listing it with the measurements. On my local listings, Facebook Marketplace, um, things like that. And here's the inside. And that was a fun project to do. Thank you for watching.